Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the global connectivity, real estate uh, markets, and also the networks within. I am here right now with Mark Acton. He is non-executive director with EchoSense. Very excited to chat with you, Mark. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. And because we're on a panel together in a couple of hours, I happen to know that you're, you're going to be talking about building green data centers and North America. I am here. indeed. Yeah. yeah. So if you could just uh, tell us a little bit about like um, the most impactful green strategies that the data center operators should be thinking about. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's difficult. And I think probably the first thing we've got to do is define what green means. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are so many elements to sustainability and, and, and doing the right thing. Firstly, is the building itself. There's the scope three emissions, you know, the embodied carbon that we, that we incorporate into the building. There's then the embodied carbon that's actually inside the equipment, the MEP equipment that supports the IT load. And then, of course, we've got the IT load itself. Mm -hmm. And I think in the data center community, we often forget about the IT load. You know, we forget the reason that we have a data center, which is to support IT services. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to, you know, consider what we actually mean by green, mm -hmm. our impact on the environment, our scope two emissions, that's the use phase emissions, the scope three emissions, the building emissions, mm -hmm. and, and actually what your data center is doing. So there's a lot to throw in there. Um, I would also include uh, probably one of the most important things is is benchmarking and 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 having a you know, a level playing field, mm -hmm. and that in, that really does incorporate the use of standards, true international ISO standards for things like PUE and REF and EERF, etc. You know, use of standards, I think, is really going to change the industry. So we'll have a much more level playing field. Yeah, and that leads us nicely into the next thing that we wanted to talk about, which is actually you're on three panels. Um, <laughs> I am indeed, yeah. um, I'm not quite so sure what I did to deserve that, but <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> you're a very busy guy, so thank you for your time with us today. But um, So one of your other panels is about unifying sustainability standards. It so is. So is there anything else that you want to get into there just to give folks a preview of what they could expect at that panel? Yeah, I think I think the key, the key about standards is that, that I, I think a lot of people, even within the sector, don't, don't realize that we've got a lot of sustainability metrics, mm -hmm. standardized, global standardized sustainability metrics. We, we don't use them sufficiently. Uh, and again, going back to my earlier point, it's essential that we have a level playing field, you know, a set of benchmarks that are consistent globally that we can actually measure ourselves against. Mm. Um, you know, we, we've all heard of PUE, the famous PUE. You can't go to a day center conference without talking about it. But the reality is most people don't realize that PUE is defined by a standard called ISO 30134-2. You love that, right? Um, so, uh, again, it's important that people recognize that because if they're reporting PUB, they should be doing it according to the standard. So I'll really expand on that theme in the panel tomorrow. Okay, perfect. And then we will wrap up with one more question, which is a very hot topic this week. And always, you can't go to any digital infrastructure <laughs> conference without talking about AI. So um, we're hearing quite a bit about it. And I, I'm wondering if you can just give us a little intro into um, how EchoSense is leveraging AI to support data center operators. Absolutely. Well, I think one of the challenges, again, we've got as an industry is, is, is understanding the data that we're being given and using that data in a meaningful way. And I think we've got to the stage where you, you, you'll hear a lot of people saying we don't have sufficient data, et cetera, et cetera. That's absolutely not true. We've got loads of data coming to us from the data center. What we struggle to do is make sense of it. Mm. The, the two things we, you know, we, we really struggle with is, is one, turning that data into information. There's a difference between data and information. There's, there's, mm. a, there's a relationship between the two. What we want really is information. Mm. So we don't just want systems in data centers that merely monitor. We want data, um, systems and data centers that allow us to manage, so they give us useful management information. So where AI and machine learning help is turning that plethora of data, that data lake, into useful management information, turning it into something that we as humans can do something with. So rather than telling us there's a problem, we want the, the, the tools to tell us what the solution to the problem is. Mm. And again, that's where AI comes in. It's taking you know, very, very good experience from, from, from the human side, good algorithms, using data, manipulating the data with analytics, using AI on it, using machine learning on it, and, and telling us how to manage data centers properly. Mm. And, and that's what EchoSense effectively does. It's taking that 
plethora of data and turn it into something we can use and actually help us to to again go down that route of energy efficiency and sustainability yeah taking so, that data turning it into information absolutely. that turn, that you know gives us solutions and, and i think the key there is it's it's now beyond us as humans to manage that data mm. you know we can't absorb that amount of data we need something that is let's call it intelligent let's call it ai you know there's all yeah. sorts of arguments about what that term really means but if you if you just think of it as, as deep analytics machine learning ai in the broadest sense um, allowing us again to manage properly rather than just react that that's what we need Excellent. Love that. All right, audience, that is a, a little nugget of what you can expect um, from the three panels that Mark, <laughs> Mark will be on over the next two days. So thank you so much for joining us, Mark. Not at all. All right. And thank you, viewers, for hanging out with us here at JSA TV. And as always, happy networking. Thank you, JSA. Thank you, Candice. Thank, thank you. you.